sorry for the no intro guys, we're just gonna jump right into the makeup. I'm priming my face with the L'Oreal Infallible Glow Lock Primer. I like to use a generous amount to really moisturize my skin. Before applying foundation, I'm going to dampen my sponge with the Mario Badescu spray. I'm going to take one of my new favorites, the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation in the shade 202 Creamy Natural. This foundation with the matching primer works so beautifully together, it makes your skin look so fresh and healthy. For concealer, I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Fair Beige. I like this concealer, but I actually haven't used it in a long time. The coverage is great, but lately I've been leaning towards concealers that are more lightweight. I'm going to help spread it out with this concealer brush from Real Techniques. To set that in place, I'm taking the Too Faced Ethereal Setting Powder on a ColourPop blush brush. This brush is supposed to be used to apply blush, but I like it for under the eyes since it's really soft. To warm up the face, I'm using the Hoola Bronzer on a contour brush from the brand Terry Murray. Sorry if I butchered the name. This bronzer can get a little too pigmented for me, so a little goes a long way. I really want to try the Hoola Light. It would probably work out better for my skin tone. I kind of messed up and set my face before applying cream blush, but oh well. This is a cream blush from e.l.f. called Soft Rose. Just to help blend it better, I'm going to use this e.l.f. blush brush with no product on it. For my brows, I'm going to brush them out a bit with this Morphe spoolie and apply the Anastasia Dip Brow in shade Soft Brown. I've never used a pomade before and I actually really like it and I feel like this jar is going to last me a long time. A little goes a long way with this stuff, so I only need to dip into it once or twice. For the eyes, we're taking the beautiful Norvina palette. I'm going to use the brush it comes with and set my lids with the shade base. Then I'm going to take the brown shade called Incense on a Morphe 441 and put that all over. Using the same brush, I'm going to add the shade Love. This shade mixes really nicely with the brown and it helps give this look some more definition. To deepen the outer corners, I'm taking the shade Passion on a flat, fluffy brush from Morphe. Sorry, this one doesn't have a number. I love using brown shades that have a lot of red in them. My eyes are hazel, so these colors really pick up the green in my eyes and make them stand out.
For the lid, I'm using this beautiful rose gold shade and focusing that more in the middle of the lid. I'm using a small Morphe concealer brush to pack that on. For the inner part of the lid, I'm using a similar shade called Dazzling, which is a little more golden. I'm going to take a fluffy brush to help blend everything together. Now I'm going to add a little more of that passion shade to deepen the outer V. Before we add lashes, I'm going to use the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. These are some of my new favorite lashes. These are the Iconic Light by House of Lashes. I've been sleeping on House of Lashes. These are amazing. For the lower lash, I'm taking the two shades Incense and Love and sweeping that under the eye using a Morphe M507. To set the face, we're just gonna take that same Mario Badescu spray. To highlight my brows, I'm taking this Anastasia dual sided pencil and taking the shimmery end of it and applying it under the brow bone. Then I'm taking the shade called Dreamer on the inner corner with a small Eco Tools brush. After that, I'm going to add some mascara to the bottom lashes. For highlight, we're using the Maybelline Master Chrome in shade Molten Rose Gold and taking that on a highlight brush from Sonia Kashuk. This highlight is going to tie in perfectly with our rose gold eyeshadow. It's not showing up too much on camera, but trust me, we are glowing. Last but not least, we have to do lips. I'm going to line them with this NYX pencil in the shade Nude Truffle. Then I'm taking my favorite new lip combo. I'm first going to take this All May lipstick in the shade Call Out. Then on top, I'm adding this lip gloss by Morphe called Freebird. And we're all done. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.